How's it going everybody? My name is Rewind the Gamer, and today you're going to be watching a Ground War Domination game on the map Raid. Uh, I'm running with two guys in my party, Adam the Able and Z IDPZ. And this game, uh, two of us go ham, basically. Uh, me and Z IDPZ both get over 80 kills, which is uh, pretty, pretty good for both of us in one game. And so, yeah, the class I'm using in this game is going to be the M27 with uh, suppressor and extended mags. My perks are ghost hardline, toughness, and tack mask. And my score streak loadouts are the orbital VSAT, the Lodestar, and the VTOL warship. And so, what I wanted to talk about in this game was a little bit more about kill streaks or score streaks, and a little bit more about uh, playing tactically and using assault rifles versus SMGs. So, I guess that's what I'll get started on first. And so, Personally, when I use assault rifles, I like to use toughness as a secondary perk, and I like to sit back a lot more. I don't rush nearly as much as I do with SMGs because, uh, as you see in this gameplay, I'm kind of sitting back, more hanging around the B flag in the middle of the map so I can pick off people at longer distances. And a lot of this is because I know if I push in and try to push gunfights, I'm going to lose them because that's just how this game works. And like even if I start shooting first, I uh, I know that I'm just not going to win that gunfight. So if you're using assault rifles, if you like using assault rifles, just sit back a little bit more, and uh, hopefully that'll work out a little bit better for you. Here I'm just trying to uh, pick off a couple people here in the middle of the map, just waiting, waiting, and triple feed. So uh, it pays to be patient in this game. Don't don't worry about sitting back a little bit. Don't think that you're camping unless you actually are just sitting in a corner. But in my opinion, just uh, Staying a little more patient and just zoning out in the middle of a map is fine with assault rifles. That's what I like to do whenever I use assault rifles, so uh, that's a tactic that you can use. Um, I do push up a little bit more, and that's just to uh, change up my areas, just change up where I am. And because um, if you stay in too, if you stay in one spot for too long, the enemies are gonna know where you are. You're gonna start getting naded. Um, they're gonna throw stuns and shock charges at your at you and in your direction and so uh with assault rifles just you know just sit back uh it's a lot harder to do it with smgs because of uh the range but uh i do end up picking up this msmc with suppressor and red dot i don't get too many kills with it i don't think i just picked it up because i ran out of ammo with my primary and um so i think that covers one of the things i wanted to talk about and uh something else was uh, kill streaks or score streaks. Uh, I think when I proceed again, when I go to seventh, I'm going to take the load star and uh, keep that with me permanently because uh, when I play with better players, I'm fighting over airspace and I'm fighting over kills because I go 86 and 0 in this game, and then one of the guys in my party goes 87 and 4. And I'm not complaining, I think both of us played excellently, but um, and this is a pretty nice feed with the load star here, but. Uh, or, or just coming up right here, but had I been in solo in this lobby, I definitely could have gotten 100 kills, or more, probably more, because at the end of the game, I think I had two, two of my kill streaks just in my pocket uh, that I couldn't use because the game ended. So uh, it was kind of unfortunate in that sense, but I still love playing with the guys that I play with, and um, hopefully I can pull 100 kills someday. It shouldn't take too long, especially as I level up more, unlock the higher kill streaks because the swarm goes goes ham in this game. I know I said that already, but the load the load star does too, which uh, you actually unlock at level twelve. But uh, the warship, I've come to like that a little bit more. I just hadn't been hadn't been using it very much in the in the early stages of the game. Well, I guess it still is really in an early stage of Black Ops too, but. Um, yeah, just been been enjoying both of these kill streaks, the load star and the the VTOL warship. And right here is the start of the second round in the domination game, and it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, me and someone else in my party, uh, he calls in his load star at the same time I call in my warship. So uh, we were kind of fighting over kills in the air, which was uh, you know not the greatest, but uh, I think we shared them pretty evenly. He gets like a quad feed, I follow up with a quad feed. So I mean, we weren't. So we we were stealing each other's kills, but I think it worked out better than it could have. Um, 
a little bit later in the gameplay, I wait for him to call in his other lodestar, and then I put up my warship. Um, and if I, I think if I put mine up at the same time that he used his lodestar a second time, so we were like fighting over kills in the air twice. I think I could have gotten more kills because at the end of the game, I still had like a, a load star and a warship in my pocket. So I probably could have hit over 90 kills in this game, but uh, I'm not going to complain too much. 86 and 0 was not bad. So, uh, yeah, and a little bit more about score streaks. Um, you're pretty much set once you get the first VSAT. You, you can't really go wrong unless you died to like an equipment you don't see or something. Um, but once you get, in my opinion, once you get a VSAT, you're pretty much set for the rest of the game. So I need, I personally need to work on getting them a little bit quicker, and um, and that'll come with more experience on the game. But uh, here I put up another load star, and right about here in the game is where I was thinking that this is going to be a good game because I um, I think this is one of the first where I just get like my score streaks back to back, and they pretty much. Um, one score streak pretty much resets to uh, start up my next set of score streaks. So uh, I think I had 35 kills at the end of the first round. And so the second half was definitely a lot better just because I had so many score streaks to use. But um, yeah, a little bit more about what I wanted to say. I think that running a SMG versus an assault rifle does have its perks. And... Uh, this is also one of the first assault rifle games I've ever uploaded. I think it might be the first. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying out a lot of variety. I really do like some of the assault rifles in the game. Like uh, the M27 for sure is probably the most consistent and most accurate assault rifle. Um, I do have the gold AN94, but I don't really use it that much anymore. I just wanted to get it gold and try that out a little bit. But uh, here I'm 70 and 0. I'm calling in another VTOL warship, and um, I had waited for him, for my teammate to use his load star before I put this one up, put this uh, warship up, because uh, well I edited out a lot of the part where he had his his uh, load star because I was just running around looking for uh, random people who were hiding in buildings, and I didn't really pick up too many kills during that time. So if I had used my warship. Um, I probably definitely, I, looking back, I probably definitely could have hit over um, 90 kills. Probably could have gotten that 100 kill gameplay, but uh, I can't really think of much more to say. Um, back on topic, I guess, about the submachine guns. Using the SMGs does have its perks like more, uh, more, blah, 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 can't talk. More bullets in a clip, and um, it's easier to win gunfights, but... Yeah, just use what you like to use. Um, if you like assault rifles, I say sit back a little bit more. Don't try to push gunfights because you'll probably lose them. Probably lose them, excuse me. And um, yeah, that's just that's just what I've been experiencing with um, assault rifles. So this game's wrapping up. As you see there, I I call in my uh, another VTOL warship, but the game's practically over. I don't even get a kill with it. So final score was 86 and 0. And then my teammate there, as you see, 87 and 4. So we pretty much uh, destroyed that lobby. It was a, it was kind of a dream lobby. The guys were not too good, as you see. There's not a single first prestige or more on their team. So that was kind of a dream lobby. Haven't been getting many of those, but um, yeah, that's pretty much the gameplay. I'll see you guys for some more later. This has been Rewind, and yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Peace.